Hello. Welcome. To. The dredgeful stream. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't think of anything funny. <laughs> Got my cup of tea? You ready to go? Hello. I put the hat on moments before I started. Um, it, it's not great. But look, I tilted it so it's like, kind of... Yeah, so it kind of looks like it's on my head. Somewhat, okay? <laughs> Hello, Q. You were lining up to to access the stream, to access Dredge. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in, Pluto. I can't wait for happy normal fishing adventures, Peach. Yay! If Bolly beats her... Uh, if Bolly plays her cards right, she can beat this in two streams. I will not be playing my cards right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> this message is a distraction. No, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, if she streams long enough, it can be one. It w <laughs> Why are you going through all of my redeems? <laughs> what? What? Man, I love fishing. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Yes, so I got the, um, I got the throwables working again, so please feel free to throw some guys at my head um for because you guys yeah there we go <laughs> oh this is beautiful <laughs> my all of my little guys <laughs> all piling up on the bottom there do you like all the colors I made for them? Lots of nice little colors. And I just got a text message. Oh, cool. Well, I can't answer the door, Mum, because I'm streaming. <laughs> just dog food. They'll leave it at the door. Um, yeah, so my throwables are working again. So, feel free to partake in those. Tell me if the sound effect was too loud. Um... The little the little noises they make as they hit my head and because it took so long for me to get it fixed you now get three every time you click the when it says throw something at my face it actually means throw three suckers at my face all right as they hit your enlarged cranium But some of them were having a collision issue. Sometimes they float a little bit. That's just magic. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, welcome, guys. My goodness. We're finally playing Dredge. Um, I checked my Steam, and um, I bought this game in April of last year. So that's how long I've been putting off playing it. <laughs> and... Five minutes before I went live, I noticed that the Pale Reach, the DLC, was on special. And I've heard that you can just pick up that content anywhere through the game. Um, it was like eight bucks, so I bought it. <laughs> so, really hope this game is good. <laughs> I played the demo and I loved it, so I know it's going to be good. Alright, I haven't, by the way, I haven't even tested this yet. Oops. So let's just jump right in. You tell me if it's uh, how the volume is, okay? Job listing, angle of wanted. That's me. 
Maybe. I don't know. Hell yeah. Man, I love crash landing. Ew, can you see that screen tearing? I'll fix that. <clears throat> <clears throat> I haven't warmed up my voice, by the way. Oops. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Hooray! Oh, they're like, you're getting out there to catch some fish. Uh, Wazd, yes. Can I escape? Thank you. Usually, V Sync is the cause. That's strange. Oh well. Um, V-Sync is always the cause. Sometimes it's because V-Sync needs to be on, and sometimes because it needs to be off. <laughs> if your new fisherman immediately crashes, I don't think they're that good. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're wasting. Yay! Just hype. Yeah. Uh... F for fish. Beautiful. Um, yes, I remember how this game works now. Is it... Okay, got it. Yay! I got a blue mackerel. Can I rotate? I can. Good and jiggling. Oh. On your... This is lovely. Oh. Oh, I've already stuffed it. That's fine. Oh god, see my... My, um... I'm having a double-click issue. <laughs> I'm having a double-click issue with my, um... Wow, there is no way I can do this. Whatever. As you, oh, my brain. As you can see, my right click is double clicking when it mustn't need to. I don't. I don't know why I'm talking old timey. <laughs> hmm. Good cup of tea. Cap, hello! Ooh, this is a good game for your look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is a beautiful, relaxing fishing simulator. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Five kinds, welcome in! Needs more dynamite in the water, yeah. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Okay, perfect. Because I will be just stopping in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I mean, uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't have the right equipment. Got it. Uh, it's these sorts of fishies. There we go. Oh, 
Got a card. Got another card. Damn, these cards are gurgling. What's going on, guys? <laughs> ah, I see, okay. Also, it's been a long while. How have you been? I've been well, thank you. Stopping in the ocean is not recommended, okay. <laughs> Alright, I got it. How have I been? I've been good. I've been well. Um, I'm getting antsy because I want to start playing like a bunch of games. But I'm going to very soon go on holiday for uh, two and a bit weeks. So I have been avoiding playing anything too like um, story-based. Select your lights by holding E and then toggle them with... Right-click. It says right-click. Uh-oh. Oh! I got it! <laughs> Okay, uh, let's do a little bit more fishing and then we'll go back inside. Oh, can I get this stuff yet? No. Just a couple more fishies. Uh-oh, okay, well, I don't think the game wants me to. Uh, we'd better go back to town. Wow, it really does creep up on you, huh? Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay, that's fine. Just yeah, no need to panic. We're almost there. <laughs> Hooray! A successful first day. Hooray! <laughs> uh, but I hope you're doing well, Protocap. Um, thank you so much for asking. But yeah, as soon as I come back from my holiday, I'm really excited to start some longer games. I just didn't want to stop in the in the middle of a game, basically. Time doesn't move forward, but that doesn't mean the friendly, happy, normal fish stop moving. <laughs> The friendly, happy, normal fish moves outside the bounds of this world's concept of time. Watch out for the real fake rocks. What, do they spawn rocks on me? Like, in the fog? That's hilarious. But yeah, I get that. Don't want to forget your place in the longer game and get back and be lost. Yeah. But we still have some fun games to play, some shorter games to play before I do go um, on my holiday. Um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, oh, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, but we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, You'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in return, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Where do I sell the fish? I've heard this is a very good one. Yes! I 
um, what happened was, like, years ago, um, I was playing a bunch of Steam demos for, I don't know, Steam Next Fest or something. And I, this one wasn't even on my radar. But I just glanced at it one day, and I was like, I saw the word fishing, and I was like, oh, okay, that, that, I'm sure that'll be a nice, uh, one to put into the, nice one to put into the rotation. And I played it, and just, like, I feel like everything about this game was made for me. <laughs> this is my hole, it was made for me. <clears throat> a local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay. You went to a, a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Mm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened in the old other one? He. It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've got still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. Sell all fish, please. Hooray. Cool. Alright, see ya. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something of it. Why don't you take it? Um, but we'd need some investigation at a dock first. Okay. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay. Shipwright? Hell yeah. In the starting area during the fog... Hallucination rocks can appear. They have a shimmering outline as they come into your light, but they still hurt your bo boat. Real fake rocks. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm warning you about. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> as you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. He looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I could make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or... Any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Um, do I have any money? I have 150 bucks. I could get a shallow rod. Oh, hold on. Two hours installation. Fishing speed plus 10. Three hours plus 40 speed. Maybe I save up for that. Oh, there's like heaps of stuff here. Oops. Oh, heck yeah. I'm, I'm def investing in one of these first. Oh. Cool. Thank you. Oh, I should have gone with lights first. Oops. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I should have got gotten lights first. 
There's no time limit, so I don't know why they fret about installation times. Maybe so that you get enough sleep? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, hell yeah. I only have 30 bucks left on my loan. Sounds good to me. Use parts to research new equipment. Researched equipment will appear for sale in shop. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's just do that one then. Yay, I got it. Oh, I have a new rod thing. Ah, uh, do I? Oh, tab. I'm just clicking anything that has... Um... Anything that has a, a kick on it. Oh. Are we gonna 100% the fish encyclopedia? I think we are. Alright, time for... Time for Betty Buys. Good night. Let's cast off! More fishing! There was a... I... Oh, it's sparkling. I see now. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a bright... A brief respite in the gloom of the night. 100% what? Folly, no! Uh, folly, yes. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh. Was time frozen, did you see? I wasn't looking. Sorry, I was answering my text. Fish. Fish. Disturbed water. Yeah. Yeah. A blue mackerel. Mackerel. Should we pop over to the, the neighboring town? I reckon. Well, we'll catch fish on the way. Ooh, there's a message in a bottle over there. Man, I love spooky ocean noises. They really... The universe really, uh, really nailed that. I got a, uh, trophy fish, I think. I think that's what that was telling me. Dang, I'm a fishing mask. Also, I am using keyboard. I couldn't decide if keyboard was better than... Um, or if uh, controller was worth it. Message in a bottle. Hooray. No. Yes. Good. I think I'm gonna run out of. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We're all good. We'll call into the neighboring town and then we'll head home. We got time. We got time. You can just spend 24 hours sleeping. Yeah. Reads how long to beat. Game is six hours long, 30% for 100%. Oh, sorry, 30 plus for 100%. Okay, we'll see what happens. That's like one stream long. That's fine. Dock worker. 
How's the day treating you? What's the life working on the docks? As changeable as the weather, ha! Huh. Most days are pretty quiet. Pay's not too great, but the work's straightforward. That suits me to a T. It's good to get that fresh sea bee sea, sea bees. <laughs> fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on those seas every day. Uh thanks for the chat. Trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Some fish are 10% catch rate with 10% chance for shiny version. There's shinies in this game. <laughs> shiny fish. Shiny fish. No. Dang it. Hello, is that... No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you just happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Ain't nothing. Oh, hold on. Nah, I'm good. I have a trophy fish. That's my trophy fish. All right, book it. There we go. <laughs> wow, it really, it, they've really nailed the um, the realism by having broken my my right click button, so the light flickers every time I try to turn the headlights on. And safe harbor. Oh, you call them shiny. Game calls them aberrations. <laughs> I still had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order. He asked for one golf flounder and one grey eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. Shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Don't overcommit yourself. Especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. True. Sell all fish. I assume I can sell this... trophy fish? Ten dollar redos remaining. Make sure you check out the specs before you buy this stuff. Once it's installed, no refunds. I needed a shallow line. Wait, what happened? Oh, I still don't have enough money. I still don't have enough money. Um. Okay, I'll just go with the cheapy then. I'm not positioned correctly. Hold on. Maybe if I... Can I put that in the middle like that? Hello? Oh! Testing, testing. Okay, I think I I rotated my my microphone and I thought I unplugged it. <laughs> oh wait, shit! Is that really loud? Is everything okay? Can you hear me? Okay. Does it sound bad? Hold on, I'm locked into the game. Properties. Yeti. Okay. It. It just, it looks really loud. <laughs> How's my volume, everyone? <laughs> Does it sound different? Alright. Uh, okay. I was gonna catch a, I was gonna buy this. Did I touch something? 
No, I don't think I did. You guys let me know if I... If I stuffed up my... My microphone, okay? Alright. <clears throat> Cab. Oh, that's right. I found a message in a bottle. A message in a bottle. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Sorry, this is on the 20th of August, 1927. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want it ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Okay. Pursuits. One flounder, one eel. Got it. Sleepy time. A hunched woman appear approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. He stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Oh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. Ugh. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favour and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay, bye. Nice to meet you. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure. No problemo. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Oh, I do have a map. Hooray! Wonderful. Wonderful. You know what is a, a short game that I should play? Uh, I should. We should play some Cooking Mama. <laughs> I wouldn't know which one though. I mean, I love. Um, I like the Wii one. That's the one I had. Good A golf flounder. Why is he floundering? That's so bad. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, this is. Bad Dandori. My goodness. And an eel. I'm looking for an eel. I don't think this is an eel. Nope. La 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 Oh! There's another bottle out there. Bottle, 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 bottle. Hooray! Okay. I can turn on a dime. The 
that doesn't look like what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for an eel. Those are flounders. Let's drop this off and we'll keep looking. Hmm, what a delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Cool. What can I store? Not fish? Yes fish? Yes I can store fish. Um, I'll put these guys aside. I'll pick them up when, when I get back to home. Eels? That looks like eels. Eels. That is a plank of wood. <laughs> Eels, eels, eels. It was eels, wasn't it? Oh. Cab. Nope. Map. Nope. Pursuits. One flounder, one eel. It's apparently shallow water. It's like a bunch of... Oh wait, I can grab this stuff? I thought it said I couldn't. Oh, I don't have the dredger. Come on, I gotta find some eels. Kind of eerie out here, huh? Kind of eerie. Interesting. Put the light on, please. I'm begging you. There we go. <laughs> a, a black grouper. Ooh. Love that sound effect. That's a good sound effect. Oh, there's something sparkly out there. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, <laughs> hold on. I. Oh, jeez. I got a little bit turned around. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure. A vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Hell yeah, dude. Big lighthouse fan. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, it's squibblies. Whoop. Got a squibbly. Must be nighttime fish. Hello. Um. Guys, we have an ice cream break. <laughs> Hold on. Hi. Thank you. Do you need anything? Awesome. Thanks. Ice cream break. Time isn't still progressing, is it? No, it's not. Ice cream, ice cream. Hmm. 
Yummy. Okay, I gotta go. It's 11 p.m. Ooh. Yeah, that rock almost got me. I don't I don't know if that was a fake rock. A real fake rock. Ice cream. Mr. Monger? Have you got a fish for that order? Yeah, you can have one. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Uh, this guy. I need a grey eel. Apparently it's in the shallows. Alright, come back when you have everything. Now to regular business, eh? Sell them all. And you can have these guys as well. Oh, how do I get them out of storage? Hold on. Oh, the mayor's talking to us. The mayor is walking quickly towards me. I'm just sitting eating ice cream. Mm. Yummy. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Fantastic news, thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I'm glad to be here. With my friends. Oh, my fish is stale. Oh, man. Is, is that why I can't put them into storage? Thanks, bro. Ah. The ice cream. Nothing like eating a delicious ice cream while you play a game where everyone's like just struggling to get by and they're all covered in dirt and they're all haggard by life. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Fuel! Epic. Very epic. Oh, I picked up another bottle. Twenty first of August, August nineteen twenty seven. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Well, you should have checked that before you got married. 
This is all, it, always how it happens. Okay, so the eel is found around the marrows. Day and night. In shallows. So... Oh, I haven't slept yet. Alright, back to the fish. So how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well. What is that? Oh. The reflection of the sun. <laughs> Ooh, they look like eels. Yes. Ooh, that's confusing. Wow, that's tricksy. That's pretty tricksy. take these back. We're right here. Ooh, just grazed the rock. Alright, here's the eel. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Mm. Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night and, well, you know what nights are like around here. Mm. Good luck. Found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Rods, reels, and rigs. Take my fish. Um, cabin. Read to unlock. Oh, that's right, it's time based, isn't it? Sustainable fishing. Past time to read. Awesome, that's such a cute. I love that, that's such a cute idea. Radio Bone Air! Hello! Hello, hello! How are you? Welcome in! I'm eating ice cream. It's really melted. You're good. Just got done with Lucha Night. Tell me about Lucha Night. This is so peaceful. You showed your friends some wrestling zones. Heck yeah. Oh, where do I find Black Grouper? Nighttime. In shallows, cool. Well, that doesn't help me. Thanks, friend. <clears throat> Sting 
gray. This is going to be annoying. <laughs> All right. His evening. Cool. All the guys just despawned. Perfect. Oh. Well, now I'm out of space. So, what are we going to do? <laughs> Uh, I guess we just have to go. Let's go. La 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 la. Ren Ryu, hello, welcome in. Hello, hello. Hey, stop doing that. I need to pop out and grab a black grouper real quick. And then you showed them cyber kids. Heck yeah. Sweeb. <laughs> uh, yes. Take this. What is it? Oh, two, two squib. Two squib. Done. And then you may take everything else. Uh, shipwright. What have we got? But want a variety of tackle to catch all those fish out there. Make sure you're prepared for whatever you come across. Thanks. Scary. Scary. But you can't sell, can you? Oh, you can. She said no refunds. <laughs> you're gonna get dinner. Be right back. No worries. Go and enjoy your dinner. I could sell that if I wanted to get a better one. Okay, so we have one pretty good engine. And that's basically what we already have. So, roll nets, nope. Better than a candle, just. Yeah, I want one of these, please. Cool. Uh, did I find anything else? No. Shall I'll pop out again. And I'll stay in the shallows, because I just need one black grouper. These are squids. Oh, my light wasn't on. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Oh, ooh. Squids. Didn't I say I was staying in the shallows? Oh my god, it's so easy to get turned around. Yes, okay. Oh man. No, I lost it. Okay. Now we can go. Whew, okay. <laughs> can I damage my boat by running into the dock? 
Probably. Uh, Black Grouper. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I've been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots! I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a in fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. Sure, thanks. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. My ice cream is melting. Some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. Okay. Cool, he's got crabby pots. Looks like some of your equipment could use some fixing. We can repair that here. $7.50? Sure, thank you. Oh, wait. Take my fish. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Alright. Sleepy time. Okay, I'm thinking let's travel around. What did the message say? No, wrong one. Around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. So let's go around. Select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one. Yeah, got it. There's plenty crab here. There's plenty crab here. You know? You don't think there'd be plenty crab, but there do. That, that's trash. That's trash. Oh! Grotesque mackerel, corrupted scales and bulbous eyes, like nothing you've ever seen before. Ew. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> oh, I need to turn my light back. Scary. They, I don't know how they managed to do- whoa! What, oh, they're eels. I don't know how they managed to do it, but the sound effects in this game are so... good. As soon as that scary fish popped up, I kind of got like a chill. Like, I don't know how they nailed the alert sound effects. Oopsie. Oh, sparkly. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. My god. Whoa, 
there's like swordfish out there. Hey, I finished my book. I don't know how he was reading while also fishing. I guess it's like a fishing boat, right? So maybe it does most of the work. Can I do anything here? Uh, not really. I think I'm bummed. Uh, boned, I think I meant to say. <laughs> The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes before you can focus on them. Hello? Is it just a rock? The stone- the cold stone does not respond to your touch. Oh, okay. Guess I'm not the chosen one then. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Look inside. Oh. I'll be right back. <laughs> but I think that was the thing that they were talking about, right? Ooh, my, um, what is that? Okay, there's a green ghostly glow on the horizon. Um, but the good thing is we're about to turn straight into port so we don't have to focus on that. It's still out there. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Fishmonger, I got a weird one. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Mm. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Ooh. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish, patterned with delicate crimson thread. Hold on, I'm eating some ice cream. Stop looking at me, I'm eating ice cream. Snorfing down ice cream while this man <laughs> scarily looks at you. <laughs> Just going. <laughs> A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His wait, my cabin window. Ooh, I don't like that. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. That's so scary, I hate that. <laughs> Matt Blackstone. Oh, okay. So that's Blackstone. Now we're reading. Oh, so I have a 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. 
we go. Lovely. Cool. Very nice. Um, oh, I need crabbies. I need some crabbies. If you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book. On the house. She pulls a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Nothing for me? Okay, that's fine. No damage? No. All good. Let's rest. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Fisherman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Sure. Mm. Melted ice cream. What's everyone's favourite flavour of ice cream? This will be on the quiz. I actually don't think I have a favourite. But I like certain styles. Like um, soft serve ice cream from takeaway places. That's like a special treat. That, that's a different breed to, like, ice cream that you can get in a tub. Oh my god. When I go to America, I can buy Ben & Jerry's ice cream at normal prices. Not $12 for a pint. Oh my god. Oh no. That's gonna ruin me. Okay, thank you for waiting. I finished my ice cream. I know you were all on the on the edge of your seat waiting, weren't you? Also, cold water after ice cream just tastes so much better. How's my crabbies doing? Got a common crab. What did I need? Common crab and a fiddler crab. Okay. Oh, let me drop off the common crab. Yes, here you go. Common crab. Whoa, look at that guy's arm. I guess that's a fiddler crab, isn't it? Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seemed to be rising from the west. Spooky. Um, should I hold on to that? No, I'll wait, should I? Yeah, I'm sure I can get it out later, right? Alright, let's book it south. And catch any cool fish we see. Ooh! 
That's a cool fish. Oh, it's not a fish, that's why. It's stupid rubble. I thought it was like a jellyfish. Oop. Hey. Easy peasy. All right, Spooky Island. Scooby Doo, Spooky Island. <clears throat> Let's grab out that little thingy. Ruined Mansion. This is where the demo ended. I remember. The man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. <gasps> hey, come out in the water in the middle of the night. Trust me, bro. <laughs> Hydra, thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> No, trust me, it's cool out here in the water. <laughs> it's really funny. Do not go out on the fishing boat at 3 a.m. challenge. <clears throat> you came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for, it sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is provide proving to be a challenge. That's where you come in. I love this dude up there with one of my fave characters. He looks like Mr. Disco Elysium, <laughs> but with less hair. If that guy got a really good haircut. <laughs> My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Hell yeah, dude. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. John Disco. You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Bye! Can I go in your workshop? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Okay, bye. Alright, well, he took my whole day. Um, but where is... Matt? Maybe the photographer headed down here to the Gale Cliffs? The suits. Search for relics. Common crab and a fiddler crab, yeah. A fiddler crab. No, don't hit the wall. I'm sorry, I won't... <laughs> I won't call crabs craps again, I swear. Oh, I can dredge now, right? I can hit video game dredge? Yay! 
hooray! Press F to change. Well, oh, hold on. Sorry. I got it. <laughs> uh, uh. Lumber. Oh, I can stop anywhere now, can't I? But the the fishmonger is this way, so. Oh, oh dear. Uh, hey, 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 hey. No. No. <gasps> No, no, leave me alone. Come on now. You stop that, silly wind. You silly wind. I'm not interested in that. Give me a common crab. <laughs> it is the name of the game. Jaundice Co. <laughs> wind is okay, wind is safe. When it's not safe, you will know. Thanks. I do not have crab. Bell or fish. I might grab another... Yeah, I might grab another pot and put it out. Okay. Lighthouse keeper. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries it in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? I should go. Gilda. Oh, hello. Oh god, I remember this woman from the demo. <laughs> she did not make the journey. <laughs> you approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's difficult. It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. I can't go back. He's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say. Hey. If you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'll be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. I remember her going overboard. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. Did I sell everything? I've got wood. Uh, so I can put this in my storage, can't I? Phew. How's my book? My book doing well. Uh, cool. 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 Alright, let's snooze. 
I got it. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Crab pot. Crab pot. I did it again. I'm sorry, crabs. You know I love crabs. Crabs are pretty cool. What do we feel about crabs? What do we feel about crustaceans? Oh my god, I heard about the friggin... Um... I saw this post on Tumblr about... I don't know what they're called. They might be called starfish para par <laughs> parasites? Or something they are exactly what it says on the tin um and for some unknown reason they are classified as crustaceans the ones that farm starfish I think I don't know hold on let me see if I can starfish parasite but they they starfish wasting disease? I don't know if that's what I'm thinking. Ew, I I won't show it on screen. Dendrogasta, apparently. They take the shape of the starfish. They look like a little like um like the stem of grapes. It looks like the stem of a a a, a a bunch of grapes and they go in the starfish and they like control them but yeah they're crustaceans as well <laughs> everything's a damn crustacean God, now, there was some dredging to be done out here, wasn't there? You're thinking of something else? What are you thinking of? Because farming starfish sounds pretty interesting. Ooh, there's something over there. Oh, yeah, there's some weird stuff happening. I mean, it looks pleasant. Shapes in the deep. Oh god, it's fast. Relic discovered. Ooh! Oh my god, it's huge, dude. You didn't tell me about this. Oh, the glowy spots mean a relic. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh no, this is an eel. Ooh. Barbed eel. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Ew. Hey, I finished my book. <laughs> Picks up a, like, horrifying creature of the deep. Ignores it and finishes reading my book. Okay, so green glowy spots might be that I have a good chance of getting a... Um, whatever they're called. Aberrant. Aberration. Fish. Something red over there. No, sir. No, sir, I don't like it.
Oh, that wind! Jeez Louise, scary. Sometimes it seems to be helpful. Any crabs? I read somewhere that there's a species of crab that will take off all of a star's limbs and eat them. And then feed them and take care of them while they grow their limbs back and then repeat the cycle. It's the harlequin shrimp, not a crab. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man. Ocean's scary. <laughs> Ocean kind of scary, actually. Still don't have that dang crab. Right, sell all the fish. Old iron chain. There's a metal research part. Let's put this stuff. I'm guessing that. Oh, there is a jeweler, actually. There's a jeweler, um across the way. An abnormally... abnormally... why do I put a B in there? An abnormally large and heavy key passed from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Okay. <laughs> um, let's dry dock. Remember, you don't have to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock. Oh, that's right. Okay, sorry, I need my planks. Wait. I need them, sorry. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have to select one. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Nets, engines, lights. I feel like that's the way to go, right? I need metal scraps. Metal scraps. And how many did I need for the um the lady? Two lumber. Alright, let's do it. Let's, we'll head out. Check the cribs. I gotta fix that, so. Weehoo, weehoo. Yeehaw. Stupid regular crabs. Standard crabs. Oh, you can dock anywhere on this dock. Hell yeah. Uh, could you please fix my my crab pot, please? Thank you. You know what? Actually. Crab pot. I want to see if there's anywhere that has more crabs than just plenty. Hmm. 
No. Kinda just... Maybe there's more crabs if I send it out further or something? I don't know. Oh good, a grieving father. I love it. Hello, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? You know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there, somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Cool, bye. Have a good one. Welcome. Found anything special lately? I have... This thing sell all the trinkets. Very good. Oh wait, how do I do the upgrades? I thought it was at the dry dock, but that didn't... Oh, the painter! Oh no, I was looking for the photographer, wasn't I? Ah, the fisherman. I had thought you might stop by. Welcome to my humble studio. If you're wanting to experiment with some decorations, yes, I'm the person to talk to. <gasps> Customize my boat? I can attach flags and bunting to add some style to your boat. I have a design here already that you might like. If you find any others on your travels, bring them back to me and I can rig them up for you. Of course, I can also add a splash of colour to your hull. I'm sorry to say that my selection of pigments limited. My selection of pigments limited at the moment. Dang, spelling mistake, spelling mistake, spelling mistake. Could I help find more pigment? Hmm. hmm, he thinks for a short while. The other day, down by the shoreline, I saw a strange crab with the most strikingly vibrant coloration. Bad game refund it, shake my head, exactly. <laughs> My knees aren't suited to clambering over rocks and chasing crustaceans, you see, but if you caught such a creature... He clears scraps of cloth and paper from his workbench, revealing a large pestle and mortar. I'm gonna smash that crab! With the right binding agent, we can grind them together for a new mixture. He turns back to you, a cunning plan formed in his mind. Hmm. Fisherman, bring me some of those strange crabs. We'll turn your vessel into a work of art. But, uh, for now, what can I help you with today? Change flag. Fish flag. As you wish. Paint boat. Ah, uh, roof. Sharp mint. Ah. Uh. Fine, we'll go with... If we go with blue depths, then the devil can't see us from beneath. Hmm. Hmm. Did it do anything? <laughs> Uh, okay, leave. That didn't really do anything, buddy. 
That's fine, I guess. Okay. So, first of all, we're heading north. We're gonna drop some supplies off at that island. I guess I should drop into old mates as well. Any fish out here? I haven't done a spot of fishing in a while. Oh, I do have that key. I thought I'd put it in storage. I guess everything that I thought I had put into storage is actually in my inventory. Awesome. Three-headed cod. Three heads writhe and struggle in unison. Three mouths hang agape, then close shut together. Three lives lived as one. One fate bound to many. Okay. Uh, I don't have all this space. Oh boy. Maybe we'll just camp in our boat at this island or something overnight. Ooh, there's something really shiny over there. Uh, also, am I going the right way? Uh-oh. I thought I was heading north. Oh god, okay, okay. Uh, we need to alter our route. Oh god, there's nowhere to actually land though. Okay, 180, we'll go back to Blackstone. Yeah, no, how, which way do I face? West. That's Blackstone. Red. Red beams. I don't like it. The wind's blowing against me. What the heck? Oh, Gary. Where's your hand on the stone? Hey, buddy. I came for a sleepover. You went to the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. Cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have travelled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. Ooh. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. Hmm. An old friend. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? Oh. 
The book ho holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Bye. I'm just gonna sleep here for the night. Funk shoe. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. So I went out. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Okay, cool. It's a haste makes waste. I don't want to use it. I don't. I really would rather not. But I did have to head north. Oh god. I can't use it because my mouse is double clicking. <laughs> okay, banned from using the the speed boost, I guess. That's fun. <laughs> you can use it in small bursts. It's good for getting home. Okay, well, if I can activate it, there we go. I gotta really smush it. Also, am I heading the right way? Yes. You're gonna have to change that for later because you need those abilities. Okay. I think my mouse is broke, bro broken. I mean, it's gotta be right. <laughs> Why else would it be doing this? Oh, shush. Oh, um. Oh no, I gotta take my thing to the guy. Okay, we gotta go. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to use the speed boost. There we go. Uh. Wonder if I can. Wonder if I can, um. <laughs> rebind it. My right mouse button click isn't working, so I can't use the speed boost. <laughs> this is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. Got it. So I'll try and rebind that. Let's see if I can do that now. Controls. How about... Ability menu, yep. Cast ability. How about V? I don't know. Uh, I need to go home. There we go. Oh, that looks... I don't know, that looks... different. I've never seen the fish sticking out of the water before. Well, I can't literally get anything else, so I gotta go. Uh, good scuff stream. <laughs> I think we're 
progressing well. I accidentally let my crabs go to to rot. But that's fine. Stop talking to me! I've got to sell my fish. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine, it sounds like. I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Oh. Dejected, she turns and walks back toward the lighthouse. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Take my fish. So, I hope I got paid extra for... So how do I use the... Research. Oh, research! That's right. Got it. Okay. Oh, you can just press that button to instantly... Yay! I got it. I got the crab. Hey, I upgraded my engine just by reading a simple book. Just using these three strange tips. Jesus, I hit the... <laughs> My ship seems to be drifting a lot. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here's the big crab. Oh my god, please. The fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. These will do. Glad you got some more use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? Uh, they go mad. Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just... Keep this between the two of us. Totally normal and fine. So, what have I got on me at the moment? I can do shallow and coastal. Encyclopedia. Ooh. This dude needs some scrap. I need a fish. And I need to find that belt buckle. Wow, I upgraded my engine. Destroys it. <laughs> I only bumped it a little bit. So I probably need to come back and repair these. Um. Oh! Okay, so glowing means evil, so I guess for now, that's a good thing. Ooh, brood squid. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Oh, okay. At least the civilians will have some good squids. Alright, I go now. Goodbye. Oh god. Ooh. Uh, quick squid stop.
nag squid. Oh, that's damage to my ship. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed, crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Okay. I might take this. Hold on. I do not have it. No. <laughs> Alright, you're not gonna believe it, buddy. I actually have a fish for you already. Ooh, big light bulbs. You got any of those mutants with you now? Yes. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. Which one do you think sells for less? He can have this one. I don't want him eating this, the, the green, the uh, yucky one. <laughs> At least he can remove the teeth. <laughs> The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Mm. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these too? They're of no use to me. Thanks. Hmm? Do you hear that? It sounds like faintest whispering you listen silence in the stillness of the room the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble his face grows anguished please tell what you need then leave i must deal with this creature quickly now okay here you go Woohoo! i got a lot of money the fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Well, I'm getting a new fishing rod. Heat resistant line. Volcanic? Oh my god, we're going to a volcano. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, exactly. And anti-tangle line. Mangroves. Ooh. I would like to go to... And then we can combine that. I want to see some mangrove fish. So we're going to put our cash into that one. Oh, oops. I probably should have checked to make sure there wasn't, you know... Bugger. I can't take it out. Awesome. Okay. Uh, have you got anything new for me? Oh yes, this. That does coastal and shallow. Um, 50% speed, 11%, 38. Okay, perfect. So, I'm buying this. Can I not move it? I could have just chucked it over there. Basic fishing pole operation. Simple skimmer. I'm gonna sell this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have sold it. Maybe I should have simply. How do I move it? <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Oh, I can't move it? Oh, yeah. What is that noise? I'm gonna... Ship right. There we go. Okay, so now we have... More room! And I can do... Coastal and shallow fishing. Very cool. Okay. 
Okay. Boop, boom. All right, we need to rest. But I think three hours is enough rest, right? I'm sure that's fine. Okay, I think, so if the... Okay. So if you have, um... If there's bubbles near your crab pot, that means that there's crabs there. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Okay. Did I just lose the fishmonger? <laughs> I may have just lost the fish one. <laughs> Please repair my crab pots. He's probably okay. Maybe. Oh, that's right. I have speed boost, don't I? I love speed boost. Let's crab. Let's cratch some fish. Oh, they give you a little space so that you can. Oh, that's lovely. They give you a little spot in case you have to reorganize your your um storage. Beautiful. I I guess I just didn't notice that the first couple times. Speaking of. There we go. Perfect. Now, I want to drop my crab pots. I'm thinking if it's deeper, that means that there's more crabs, right? That's how crabs work, I'm pretty sure. Oops. Um, I only wanted one of those. Thank you. And then over here. No, that's not what I wanted. You think the distance between them matters? I kind of feel like it helps. But I am unsure. No? Okay. Ooh, there's glowies over there. We're going to glowies. Oh. I love Glowy's fish. What was that? Oh my god! Porpoises? I mean, do I follow them? They're gone. I looked away. Porpoises! <laughs> orcas! Were they orcas? Do orcas make that noise? Wow. Oh. Lumpy mackerel. A writhing mass of lumps. Twisting and pulling their way under the scales of their vessel. How long can it have lived like this? Yeah. They won't hurt me, they're all good. Yay, I'm glad. Uh, why are there so many demon creatures? I, 
and I don't have room because the fishmonger has disappeared. I could put my cheaper fish in storage. Oh, those are my crab pots. Shit. <laughs> that scared me. Wow, it is red over there. Pus Grouper. Oh, no. Yay, I got one. Okay, that'll do me because I'm out of space. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Whew, okay. And now I'm just gonna sleep until day, I guess. Honk shoe. Go and dump this stuff off. I like it. I like the speed boost. Okay. Hey, Fishmonger. There he is. Ugh. Blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? You may have my fish. They're all yours, buddy. I'm gonna buy another crab pot. Crimson glow in the sky seems to have gone away. The air feels quieter now, more settled. Have you noticed? Um, can't say I have, sorry. And dry dock. I need scrap, I really need scrap metal. Let's go. be honest, I'm not quite sure what scrap metal looks like, so... Oh wait, shoot, I forgot about my other... Well, at least I have crabs to sell, so... Nice. Those are big fish. What sort of fish are these? Oh, um, gobies or something. <laughs> I've got no clue, to be honest. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, and I should drop a crab pot here. Gloop. See, he's all good. <laughs> He's fine, he's fine. Oh, I can sell them directly. Nice. Now I know. How are all my books doing? Oh, my books are doing great. 
pig-like tusks protrude from the mouth of this ravenous brute. With no eyes to speak of, it attacks indiscriminately. Okay. Alright. Oh, Alright. Undock. We have got to check out Little Marrow. Deviantly sharp teeth with chunks of smaller fish lodged between a hunger in its eyes. These kind of feel like haikus. The weirdest haikus I've ever heard. Hey. Yeah, I'm pretty good at fishing. Heard a crunchy noise. Shapes in the deep. I wasn't ready, I got scared. Okay, we got the bronze belt buckle. That's nice. Oh god. There is a red ooze. Oh dear. Wait, why did my light go out? Oh, wrong button, sorry. Why did my light bulb go out? Voltaic grouper. An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over this fish's scales. It thrashes ceaselessly. Even hours after being pulled from the water. Uh, sorry, I've got to turn my light back on. Here we go. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, I think my guy needs a nap. His eyeball up the top is looking not great. Imagine when I was playing, didn't talk to the grieving dad, Sold it right in front of him, and only then did I talk to him. That's messed up. <laughs> Hello, is everything okay? About that belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man? Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. You give the belt buckle to the man. Your lights go out around midnight. Okay, okay, okay. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Hey, I'll take it, bud. Anything else I can help you with? No. Hey, trader. <laughs> So I found this sweet belt buckle. <laughs> okay, I'll honk shoe until the morning. Rint over to... Uh, check for crabs. 
little crab. Little crab. Okay, we finally succeeded in clearing one quest. <laughs> and another crap. I need to check my quests again, because not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just from looking at the surface. Oh, so that's what that was. Okay, awesome. Uh, I can now get the mangrove. I, I guess I'll buy it and I'll put it in. Oh, is this it? The end? Yeah, that's it. Do storage. Yay! I bought it. Okay, as soon as we find mangrove fish. Um. Um. Gale Cliffs, that's right. And I need to find some. scrap I did I like is that scrap that looks like wood actually it looks like shapes in the deep Gold ring. Where's the Gale Gale Cliffs that way? Okay, let's head to Gale Cliffs, which is that way. Southeast. Let's do it. And any scrap that we come across, we'll have a look at. Um. Oh geez, how far away are these cliffs? Hello! I'm trying to um, figure out. Gail M. Meme? Or Galem Meme? Welcome in! Welcome in! Uh, tell me how to pronounce your name if you if you would like. Uh, well, welcome! <laughs> and Toxic! Hello! Welcome in! Welcome! There's doubloons to be found here. Oh. Ooh, look what I got. <laughs> like Galeem from Smash Bros. Galeem meme, of course. <laughs> I saw the Gale in it and my first thought was, um... Uh, Gale Baldur's Gate. Galeem meme. I like it. That rolls off the tongue. Welcome in. Anyway, scary hooded figure. You approach a hooded figure. Wathed in dark blue robes, their face is barely visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. 
fulfills the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Okay. I can get you a mackerel, bud. I would be happy to. I'm gonna say that every time I get really hungry now. Fulfill the hunger. Um, I better start heading back. There's no way to park here. I can get you a blue mackerel. Damn. <laughs> Fulfill the hunger. Oh, it just disappeared. Wow, the waves are rough today, huh? My little boat's bobbing up and down. Wow, I'm gonna have so many of these cursed squids. They seem to be the only thing out here. Woo! Ding, ding, ding! I'll park at Blackstone for the night. Oh, that's my crab pot. Oh, there's something... Oh, no, that's those rocks that won't... You know, won't... Won't be nice to me. You're gonna go snooze, you think? You're so wiped out. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your snooze. What is, in your opinion, the best meal? Ooh. Oh, that's difficult. I gotta say, I, I my immediate thought was like curry. Because you have the meats. You have any vegetables you want. You have a very flavorful sauce and rice. But like in saying that, that kind of incorporates like stir fry because it's the same assembly of, you know what? I am going to say curry because every like Every um, culture has like all their different types of curries. I'm gonna say curry. I'll sneeze to that. Um, but I do also like want to give a shout out to stir fry. Um, just any stir fry, which is basically the same. You have your protein, you have your vegetables, you have a flavorful sauce, and your carb, um, which is usually rice. That's a good choice. Well, what's your opinion? I'd like to know what your opinion is. I don't have any bits, do I? Alright, we'll just rest the night. Did we find a fish for that lovely man? No, we didn't. Oh, oh, I'm gonna hit a rock. Oh! I hit a rock. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. No, I don't want these. I want the little, the little blue fishies. You also left me a note on Discord. Okay, I'll check it. So what is this? Oceanic. 
Though, I don't think I have any oceanic... Um... Like, tools available. Yay! The blue book mackerel. Oh, hey! So, let's talk about, um... A... Uh, let's talk about the phony state of play. I had no idea that was happening. Um. Ooh. Many-eyed mackerel. Gill plates dotted with eyeballs. Superfluous but scanning frantically. All eyes see right through you. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna drop the majority of our fish off at Mr. Fishmonger, and then we'll go back to the nice old man. Your best meal is a nice seafood pasta with shrimp squid and clams, a little spicy coleslaw, and to drink black tea and a banana for dessert. You know what? That does sound pretty good. What flavor pasta? Like marinara? Like the tomato-y flavor? Because for some reason we call a... So Wait, I don't know if that's an Australian thing or if that's an everyone thing. But for some reason, we call assorted seafood marinara. Seafood marinara. If you've heard about it, aglio olio. Um, is that garlic and oil? Or it, it's oil and something, right? Basically olive oil. Oh, okay. There you go. Hello, Mr. Monger. I need to sell them all one by one. Uh, fix my ship, please. How are Artie and Pippin? They are doing good. Um, let's see. Have they done anything recently? No, I think they've been um, pretty solid. I think there was a little bit of rough housing uh, the other day. Ooh. Cerebral crab. A turquoise mass swells from within this small crab. The growth pulses, thickening in the light of the sun. Is that that needs repairs? Cool. And this needs repairs too. Cool. Jeez, there's not enough time in the day. Trade that. Um, I need to get this to the the nice the nice uh, hooded man. Oh well, there's a whole bunch of debris, but I bet you it's not. Uh, stuff that I want. Alright, this is gonna be spicy, but we're gonna take a trip out here. All we have to do is go in a straight line to get home. I'm regretting this immediately. Oh, 
sir. There he is. Fulfill the hunger. Yes, you can go, buddy. I got you. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More still empty. They point to another shape on a second scroll. They have a whole stack of just funny scrolls with little drawings. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. I don't have one of those. Well, now I'm here with the whispering guy all alone. What's the quickest way I can get Blackstone? He's nice to me. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh dear. Have I never seen this before? The stone trembles before you. This is that same stone. Unknown symbols glow from within. I'm going to place my hand on the stone. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. Dark rocks erupt from the earth, piercing through buildings and trees, through sand and crashing waves, through the basalt pillars of this island. The newborn structures crackle with an unknown energy, crimson lightning arcing between them. The earth shifts once more and the stones lie still. Okay. Well, I'm going to sleep in this stranger's house. Hooray! <laughs> this is making me think about the time Alaska reported 11 billion crabs going missing. Where, where were they supposed to be? <laughs> Sleep the night. Honk shoe, honk shoe, honk shoe. Is it okay to... Oh god, the camera. I cut out a couple hours of sleep because I thought it would probably be light enough that we can use those hours to travel. Who needs sleep? Whoa, look at these guys! They're gone. <laughs> I don't know if they were glitching out. We made it! In the ocean is my best guess, but apparently they went missing. Okay. How do I give him... Uh, no, hold on. Paint boat, roof, or whatever. Sharp men. Take this. Cool. Thanks, bro. Alright, undock, we gotta go and repair. Alright, so I don't have a tiger mackerel, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've found one yet. A crab pot. My crab.
grab the pot. Whoops, that was incorrect. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Hold on. There we go. All right. Mr. Fish. There you go. Miss Shipwright. Fix my boxes for me. All right. How early in the morning is it? Maybe we need to... No. Oh, no, I... Uh... How early in the morning? It's 9 a.m. We can book it to Gale Cliffs. I think we do it. Oh god, why am I Oh I damaged my hole. Hold on. Hold on, I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> Mrs. Shipwright, I'm back. Here's $30. Sorry. I don't like the noise of the speed boost. It does sound like it's going to explode. Are those a different type of fish? No, I think these are the, the blue, blue mackerels. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go, do you reckon that's it? We'll, we'll... We'll take our leave on that island over there. Ooh. Uh, I gotta keep going, <laughs> I'm too scared. Some big honking fish out here. Oceanic fish. That was an accident, sorry. We made it. Easy camp easy. New city. What is that? Um. That's a water spout. <laughs> I got a stonefish. Oh, I see what this is. Okay. New fishing mechanics that's fun well at least the water spout's gone now may i park here ingfell retired whaler hmm what is it what can you tell me about ingfell ingfell used to be a whaling town emphasis on the used to be we would go out bring in a carcass and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago. And now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. I just gotta check my messages, sorry. <laughs> Are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now. The devil. Anything else? Have you heard about any strange things in the area? 
Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear from them since. Anything else? No, thank you. Well, that's scary. <laughs> I don't like that. What is it? Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes, I can bring you an aged conger eel. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. What can you tell me... Uh, where can I catch a conger eel? Ah, oh, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Wow, that sounds like a nightmare. What can you tell me about these cliffs? Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There was certainly a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Okay. I'm... Um... <laughs> well, that sounds like a nightmare, is how Folly ends all her sentences. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, it must be the, it must be, like, end of stream brain, because I'm not absorbing anything this lady is saying. So, I might have to, um, I'll, I'll do her dialogue next time we play. Oh, but I did want to know, how do I sell my fish? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. Galem! Galim! I... <laughs> That dang wizard from Baldur's Gate has has soiled my mind. <laughs> Galim, meme. Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I got your name wrong again. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate it so much. As a merchant that travels around, she's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Ooh. Thanks. Now we sleep. <laughs> I guess let's have a real quick look around. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, that's why it's called Gale Lips. Probably. Oh, ahoy there, you're a new face. Fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Haha. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade.
On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy any fish you want to sell. I also keep a stock of crab pots here for sale. Alright, take them all. Say, hey, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with, uh, with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. He sighs wistfully. Oh. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'd never forget anything. Anyway, she said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, maybe you should check on her. That's what everyone was saying. Oh dear. Huh. Let's ignore that. Small island on the south of the Marrows, huh? wonder if that's around here somewhere, or... Because we've been to Blackstone and she's not there. Unless she's moved there now. <laughs> the closed captioning says, That's why it's called Gay Lifts. <laughs> hey, that's why it's called Gay Lifts. <laughs> Uh, shipyard. Hmm. Most of this gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it at every pontoon. But come aboard and see what equipment I've got for sale. Oh, so it's it's everything. Oh, she's got bits and bobs. Oh, they're so expensive. No thanks. Oh, she's got a quest. Oh. Hey again, come by for a chat. You need help with anything? <laughs> Assistance from an angler? Absolutely! I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. i figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me? I can help with that. Great! The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and coelacanth. Wow, the most common fish in the universe. Thanks. So easy to obtain. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Hmm. What did you want to know? Tell me about oarfish. Even though the oarfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they'll live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of gale cliffs would suit them? I know the gulper eels live at the deepest depths imaginable. You'll have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters using the shade of trees as covers. Actually, I have no idea where coelacanths might be, but they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? Alright, got it. I'll be going. Let's... We'll pop over to the next town and we might save there. Let me check on all the fish first, see if they're all the same in each region. That looks new. Tiger mackerel! That's what I was looking for. sell these before I forget and they go rotten <laughs> um hmm. not every crab can be found at every depth when finding a spot to grab drop your crab pots maybe check your encyclopedia okay that's what I was thinking all right I'll have to make sure that I remember that Choo -choo. Strong music. Ooh, bits and bobs. 
Oh, this looks like mechanical stuff. Oh ho! These fish are grumbly. Wreck fish. Dang it. Dang it. Oh. A bony wreck fish. Encased in bony protrusion and struggling to move its encumbered fins. Its gills are almost sealed shut by the growths. Not my problem. <laughs> Not my problem, fish. Grab another one and then we'll finish up. What the heck is this? It's a blackmouth salmon, of course. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. Funny fish. Funny fish. Hold on. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to lose one. I just wanted to know if I could get a silly one. No. Whatever. What do they say when you go into a forest? Um, overfish the population. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And was a trophy. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, I can fit one more in. Gamer. Okay. Oh, Jesus, late. What? Oh, it's it's red. Oh, this isn't a town. Uh oh. Can I park here at least, sir? An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I have been stubbornly holding out here for so quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help you move to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature... It dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. The creature. The lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. I'll look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. Let's 
Talk to him about about the explodies. <laughs> Welcome in, Clover. Oh, sweet Dredge. Oh, beautiful Dredge. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. I will be finishing up soon. Um, because... My brain's gone kaput. But I am streaming it again tomorrow. Um, so feel free to hop in then. Love the hat. Thank you. I do love fishing. <laughs> I'll have to catch it then. Yeah, no worries. Uh, do you know how I could clear the debris around here? Hmm, you'd probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. For the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff. But with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I guess, um, we are going to... Take a nap at this very safe location. Honk shoo, honk shoo. And now... <sighs> Excuse me. Save and quit. Got it. Okay! Well, that was Dredge. This is... I'm so glad to be playing it again. I just... Um, I overdid it with the voices. Oh, excuse me. I overdid it with the funny voices. Now I need a little break and we'll get back into it tomorrow. I guess good thing I put aside two days for this. Uh, we, pr we won't finish it tomorrow. But, um... Yeah. I also need to schedule a um a one-off special stream, that being uh Frog Detective 3. So I need to uh figure out the best day to do that. The most suitable day. But until then, dredge. We talked about weird, weird sea creatures. It was great. Oh, excuse me. All right.